I love how we got not just one, but two little versions of Pip in six inch scale. Hello there Star Wars fans and welcome back to another BigBadToyStore.com sponsored review featuring the new Black Series number one in the Acolyte, Osha with Pip. I mean it doesn't say Pip on there and he totally deserves to be on this box. But yes, we have Osha and Pip, the little droid we get to see in the Acolyte. On the side of the box, there she is. You've got artwork of Osha, and you also have Pip in the artwork too. He made it. He's in the uh, the part where the color starts to fade in and the rest of the art starts to fade out, but hey, enough of him is there. On the back, you've got some words and things, more artwork of Osha, and that's pretty much it for the packaging. And here is Osha and little Pip out of the packaging. Not a bad looking figure. Looks like it's an all new mold. We've got the whole mechanic jumpsuit that she was wearing, plus the little vest that she had, her backpack, which was one of her accessories with her little hydro flask there, her Star Wars hydro flask. We've got Pip in the little pocket pouch that hangs from her belt. We have the stun blaster with its holster that she took from one of the other Jedi Knights and used a few times in the series. Some of her shots weren't as good and it turns out she's better at hitting targets when she doesn't hesitate to pull the trigger. Here is little Pip. He is removable from the pouch as well which is nice and you can close that pouch up as you can see right there, which I really like. And we also get an alternative Pip where he's in that little configuration where he can either spray stuff or be used as like a welding tool type thing, which I really liked about the introduction of the Pip droids in this show where we have this little Swiss army knife type of droid or multi-tool type of droid. And he's got some cool little detail on him. You got a little bit of the black paint stripes on the orange there. Some of the buttons are painted in a different color. You've got some of the mechanical detail on the inside there. You have his little eye light indicators painted on. I know it's faint, but it is there. There's some other paint detail. There's the flashlight nozzle of his head, which got some use in the show too. And there's that other side of his head, which I think was a knob for something. Some more detail on the back. It would have been nice to see those stripe details and black mechanical details painted in once again on this side too. But hey, it's cool that we even got a little pip droid in the first place. His head is removable off of a ball joint, just like in the series. So you can have May or whoever else pick up Pip's head and use it as like a little flashlight if we need to. Or you can take Pip in his little other tool configuration and he'll fit in either hand. You just got to get those fingers on the inside of the grip there. And just like on the other Pip, the tool configuration of Pip also has some of that same paint detail, except they didn't paint any of the inner tool or mechanical bits on either side of this configuration, nor did they paint the nozzle of this part of the tool. But we do still have the black paint where the knob or uh, flashlight end is of Pip's head. Now, Osha is also fully articulated herself, head is on a ball joint, neck is on a ball joint, and that face sculpt is very, very screen accurate, a very good likeness there. I will say with the hair, I feel like the paint detail on the hair is, the red's not as prominent as I feel it should be. I feel like the red or kind of burgundy color that uh, her hair kind of fades into down towards the tips 
is not as prevalent as it should be on this figure. And maybe that's just due to earlier shots of the character from behind the scenes, or maybe just the paint didn't mix super well on the final product when they were in the factory. I don't know for sure, but the hair is not quite the right red color. Other than that, the head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. The textures on the hair is right. The way that her braids come down is pretty much right too. It's just the color seems a little bit duller than it should be. Uh, you can take the vest off and she can, and she has those inner butterfly socket joints as you can see right there. So fully articulated shoulders in and out and you have those butterfly joints, single jointed elbows, wrist joints, and these wrists are on a ball joint now so you don't have the regular going all the way down or to the side one direction or the other. The wrists are entirely on a ball joint. Waist, hips, no inner socket thigh joint up at the top, but you do have these single deep knee joints and you get that full swivel out of that. So no swivel up here, but there is down here. You do have a swivel at the top of the boot fully articulated ankles. They even have the steel toe painted on the steel toe boots that she is wearing. So nice detail on that. Decent detail on the buckle, on the little strap there. Even on this buckle, the paint detail is pretty good. So overall, a pretty awesome release of OSHA and Pip. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's review featuring the new Black Series number one OSHA and Pip from Star Wars The Acolyte. And another special thank you to BigBadToyStore.com for sending us this action figure. If you're looking to add OSHA to your collection, click the link down below and go over to BigBadToyStore.com and add her to one of your orders into your collection today. And while you're there, be sure to check out some of the other really cool toys, collectibles, apparel, merch, and more that you can find on BigBadToyStore.com while also taking advantage of their pile of loot system where you can amass one large order of all the figures and things you've ordered and have it sent in one box rather than pay shipping across a bunch of smaller orders. I think that's pretty cool. Check out rebelscum.com daily while liking and subscribing to our social media and YouTube channel for video content and posts such as this right here. Check out cooltoyreview.com where we do all kinds of awesome non-Star Wars toy news reviews and like and subscribe to Cool Toy Review on YouTube as well as following Cool Toy Review on social media. If you're looking for a fun Star Wars event to go to, check out Rebel ScumCon. Year 2 is coming up August 8th through the 10th, 2025 at the Frisco Conference Center. And for more information, follow Rebel ScumCon official on social media channels, as well as checking the main website, Rebel Scum Conventions, with an S, dot com. That's Rebel Scum Conventions, dot com. And last but not least, sign up for a free account on CollectorsOracle.com and keep track of your Black Series collection. We don't have Acolyte added to it yet, but it is getting added very, very soon. And most of the rest of the Black Series toy line from phases one through four, 4.5, 5.0, whatever you want to call the later parts of four. Mark the pieces you have in your collection. Mark the pieces you'd like to have in your collection. Share those lists with friends, family, and social media alike. And it's all absolutely free to use. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. And may the force be with all of you, you rebel scum.